Today's mission is to finally finish upgrading the suspension on Neil's Rally Mini. Before you think of it, let me make it clear, no, he's not from China. In today's video, let's have a deeper look at Ed China, the iconic mechanic and television personality known for his role on the hit show Wheeler Dealers, which was telecasted on the Discovery Channel. He's captivated audiences worldwide with his automotive expertise and unique inventions. In this video, we'll expose Ed's journey on television, his expensive possessions, and what he's currently pursuing in the automotive world. Edward John China, now famously known as Ed China, was born on the 9th of May in 1971. Ed has received his early education from King Edward School, Whitley. Realising his passion very early in life, unlike many of us, Ed China has decided to pursue his degree in engineering product design from London South Bank University. While he was still in college, his very first DIY project was the driving sofa, which caught the eyes of many, allowing him to stand in the spotlight. This project and his other wizardly DIY projects during his time in college helped him to get a job as soon as he graduated from the South London Bank. Ed China was slowly grabbing the attention of the automobile world with his creations and he was eventually asked to feature on multiple TV shows. Ed appeared on Top Gear Live as a guest while driving his sofa. He was also featured on Jeremy Clarkson's most outrageous DVD ever. This became a routine for Ed to be featured on various TV shows. The big turn came when he showed up as a guest on the Scrap Heap Challenge, also known as Junkyard Wars in the United States, while driving his sofa and his bed this time. Crazy! What's more outrageous is that, once he drove a TV presenter to his show on the driving sofa right into the studio and gave an interview. Ed was again invited to feature on Top Gear, where he modified a Rover 800 and installed an ejectable driver's seat. Ed was also offered to feature on the famous classic car clubs show that was screened on Discovery Channel. And then let's talk about the real deal here. Ed was hired by Discovery Channel to host a super hit show, Wheeler Dealer, alongside Mike Brewer. The show was an instant hit in English households. It was also received very well globally. The show's plot was simple yet captivating. They would buy used cars in bad or worse conditions, restore them to their best and sell them for a profit. Ed China was the mechanical genius responsible for making this transformation possible. This show brought Ed China all the fame, glory and giant paychecks. It has successfully aired for 15 years and the show finally ended in the summer of 2017. Ed has stated that he left the show because of his disagreement with the production company. He was replaced by Ant Anstead on the show. Though he left the TV screens, he hasn't really gone. Ed started his own YouTube channel as he promised to his fans. Ed returned happily with the show, Ed China's Garage Revival. The series followed a format similar to Wheeler Dealers, but with a more personalised touch. Ed worked closely with individuals and small businesses to help them resurrect and restore their cherished vehicles, sharing his expertise. Ed has garnered quite a fortune with all his professional endeavours. He has two companies to his name, Comfy Banana Limited and Grease Junkies. One serves as an outlet for all his creations, and the other company sells all his merchandise. Ed had also written and published a couple of books. They hit the top of sales and made him one of the best sellers in his country. His YouTube channel, which now has close to a million subscribers, also provides him with a good source of income. Based on our estimates alone, he makes over $25,000 per year just through ad revenue, and that's not even including his other sources of income like his merchandise line. With all his hard-earned money, he didn't back off to spend it on luxury. He now lives in a modern mansion along with his wife, which is estimated to cost a few million. He boasts a garage that is the envy of any car enthusiast. He possesses a collection of classic cars, motorbikes and more. He owns all sorts of antique automobiles here. He owns a V8 Range Rover, a vintage Cadillac, a driving sofa, a driving bed and a driving bathtub reportedly. Ed's fashion sense is top notch, by the way, he dresses, he surely spends a fortune on his clothing. He's also a collector of watches. Ed's wife, Imogen China, is a very successful businesswoman. The couple do not bear any children together. 
Ed China's journey from wheeler dealers to his current efforts reflects his mechanical prowess and his unwavering passion for the world of automobiles. Ed China's legacy transcends beyond television, making his presence felt in cars. So what do you think Ed will do next? Will he return to the TV screens or will he continue to venture into unknown territories as he's doing now? Please let us know in the comments below. That's all for today's video. We hope that you guys have enjoyed watching this one. Thank you and until next time.